You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. I don't usually look to the stars to try to geolocate videos, but occasionally there are clues in the sky. So what can we see? This video shows what appeared to be a moonrise in Florida. The video tells us it's Florida. I didn't just immediately know that. I'm not rainbow. At the start of the video, we can see a partial road sign. I believe it's announcing an upcoming exit, but we can only see a partial exit number, a zero and an A. We can also see that it's for a beach, but I don't know what beach. Soon after that, we get what looks like an interstate sign, and it appears to be a three-digit interstate, and the first number, I think, is a five. Other than the moon, there really wasn't much else to see here. I did see this one white sign, but it wasn't really readable, and I suspect it didn't say anything that would be helpful in finding this place anyway. Okay, so how do we find this place? Like I said, I got the sense that this was a moon rise and not a moon set, but that was really just a hunch. I could have been wrong about that. It's gotta be one or the other. Anyway, if it was a rise, that meant you were traveling roughly east. So we knew this was Florida, and we knew that this was probably an east-west interstate, and the interstate number was probably 500-something. A while back, you guys may remember that I talked about a site called CrossCountryRoads.com. That site's dedicated to collecting images from various different interstates all around the U.S. I use that as a reference from time to time, and I went to check it out and see what interstates were in Florida. And there was only one in the 500s, Interstate 595. They didn't have 595 eastbound photos on their site, but it did help me confirm that there is an exit 10A, and that's for West Palm Beach. That all seemed promising, but was it right? It was. You're driving east on Interstate 595 in Davie, Florida. Google Street View confirmed that exit 10A sign that we saw at the very beginning of your video. I also found that white sign, which was advising drivers to move accident vehicles out of the travel lanes. And I found that same spot where the trees were kind of framing the moon toward the end of your video. Okay, so this is the part where some clown in the comments says, Hey, Jose Monkey, how come the moon's not there? Well, I thought about that. And guys, I checked the Google Street View going all the way back to 2007 to see if I could find any images that would show the moon in the sky here. And I didn't find one, but I found this photo. Now I know what you're thinking. You can't fool me, Jose Monkey. That's the sun, not the moon. And you are right. But here's why it's helpful. From the perspective of the Earth, the sun's movement throughout the year traces a path that we call the ecliptic. The ecliptic is one of the fundamental planes of reference that we use for locating other objects in our solar system. From the Earth's perspective, all of the other planets in the solar system appear pretty close to the ecliptic, and so does our moon. So the moon would rise in essentially the same spot that the sun rises in, which means that this is the direction that you would face to see the moon rising if you were at this place at the right point in time, like you are in your video. That's all for now, guys. Like and share if you enjoyed this video, and if anybody else would like me to figure out where one of their videos was recorded, please tag me in a comment on that video.